All right, this is Anthony. We're back at Sundance, and I'm here with the stars, the creator, and the director of This Close, Josh Feldman, Shoshana Stern, and Andrew On. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Glad, I guess, D-Lodge, we can call it. Hello. Um, we are so excited about this project, and I know the two of you, it, it, it ba it's based on kind of your real-life friendship, I would imagine. Tell me a little bit about that dynamic between the two of you. Well, the web series was originally based on our friendship. Like it started, <clears throat> but as we got deeper into the writing process and started to explore those characters, it kind of became just two people, two of their own people. But the chemis chemistry that you see on screen is all real. It's that chemistry that we have, right? Yep, right. And you're the director, mm -hmm. so tell me about why you wanted to get involved with this, because I know you guys did the the series of shorts together, but you were brought on for this project specifically. Yeah, um, I was brought on um, uh, by a friend of mine who uh, worked at Super Deluxe, Ali Wen, and she said, hey, we have this great show, and we think you'd be really wonderful for it. And I met Josh and Shoshana, and they were just... Um, such wonderful people and, and I could tell they would be such generous collaborators and I could see the chemistry that they had with each other and was excited to show that on screen. And, and especially uh, now with the TV show, which is uh, a longer um, you know, uh, project, uh, to be able to dig into um, more of the, the, the gritty aspects of you know, friendship and relationships, um, you know, it's it's got more sex and it's got more drama. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sex and drama. But honestly, he's been humble. He is being humble. We had a list, a dream list of directors. Okay. And like if we could ever dare to be like beyond go beyond the web series and get on TV, his name was at the top of our list because we love Spa Night and we felt so connected to it because it really represents the experience of a minority, a minority community, you know, that speaks a minority language. And so even without words, so much of his film was unspoken and we just connected to it so much. And so when we heard that he was actually coming in to audition to our direct, we got so excited and we were like, we hope he says yes. And it really was, um, I mean, he exceeded our wildest dreams and our expectations. He's even better in person than we could have ever <laughs> imagined. And we just fell in love with him. Oh, so, love that right? here. Um, you know, it really is fantastic that we're seeing diverse programming, and you know, Sundance really does such a great job of celebrating that. What does it mean for the two of you to see this show happening with two hearing impaired leads? Oh, it's crazy because I grew up not seeing myself on the screen at yeah. all for the longest time, especially as a deaf gay man having not seen myself for the longest time. And so I still really haven't seen myself. So I'm now excited to bring this to the screen. Hopefully hopefully, future generations can see themselves in our story. I'm su super excited about bringing this new identity to the screen. Yeah, I saw myself on screen growing up. I saw a lot of deaf and hard of hearing characters, but I don't think there's ever been a show that's actually been written, created by deaf people, written and created by. And so in my experience behind, you know, in acting the characters, I was a lot of thrilled to play a lot of those characters that I had the opportunity to play, but I never really had that particular experience, the specific experience, you know, speaking uh, uh, the language and being in the story, rooted in the story. Um, so there's really an insider perspective. And Sundance now has given us that chance, uh, has trusted us with the story, and um, they, Sundance now has trusted us to bring the, cell, the story to television. So it's mind blowing, really. You have some very big Hollywood heavyweights that are gonna be on this show. I know Marley Matlin, Zach Guilford, Cheryl Hines. I think I saw Niall DeMarco in the trailer. <laughs> of course, I, I found him. Um, <laughs> tell me about what it was like to work with those. I mean, they're huge. Well, I can't believe it <laughs> happened. I mean, I'm still wondering why. I don't know why either. Like really, like with Niall and with Marley, we had hoped that they would take would join our project because you know we'd written parts for them and when they said yes it was like definitely they did us a favor by being on the show mm -hmm. i think it's it's a testament to the writing and to josh and shoshana's um just being so inspiring uh that you know people that we went to, went out to they said yes you know and so that's how we were able to get this amazing cast and 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 people didn't have an ego on set like mm -hmm. everybody knew that um this was a really special project it was bigger than just like being you know, an actor and in, in, in this one role. And so 
you know, it was such a, a an honor to work with Josh and Shoshana and the rest of our cast. What's it like as a director? I would um, as what's it like as a director to direct to real life best friends? Because like, I would imagine it probably gets a little wild or chaotic and fun. But is there any challenges? Or I know they see, they want to know. <laughs> Go ahead, Andrew. <laughs> Spill the tea, Andrew. <laughs> well, you know, I, I mean, for me as a director, it was always about like how can I bring in um, uh, real life experiences. Uh, onto you know the how you know Josh and Shoshana connected to Michael and Kate. Um, you know they're different characters, but you know we can always find similarities and um, and we you know we snuck little things in and and just knowing their relationship and and hearing more about how they met. You know it it influenced how I was directing them. You know one of my favorite things. It's such a small thing, but in one episode. Um, uh, Kate hugs Ryan and she says, oh, he smells so good. <laughs> and that was something that when Shoshana met Colt Prattis, our actor playing Ryan, she said, oh my God, he smells so good. And I was like, we're putting that in there. You know? I love that. So, okay. Yeah, he does actually smell really good. <laughs> what is the set? Do we know? <laughs> you guys that? Now, um, I know it's about it's based on some of, you know, there's, based on your relationship, but also there's, you know, obviously different storylines. Tell me about the two of your characters and where they're at in terms of relationships. Well, for Michael, yeah. um, when we first meet him, he just has gone through a breakup. And so he's really in a bad space in his life. And so as he's trying to figure out that journey, um, what happens to his friendship with Kate is kind of and her own personal relationship as she moves forward, it's he starts to feel, you know, grounded when he sees his own best friend pull apart from him, and so he's trying to hold on to things, but he doesn't do it very well. He doesn't do a, a good job of doing that. Yeah, and for Kate, she's recently engaged, but she hasn't told Michael yet. No, she uh, hasn't. So no, no spoilers, but uh, <laughs> I, it's episode one, first episode, so you'll see that. Um, but the reason why she doesn't tell him is because he's just gone through his own breakup. So that kind of sets the stage of what happens for both characters as we go through this story, you know, in the first season. And both of them really have their own journeys with their work life, with their personal relationships, but their friendship really is at the heart of the story and their friendship is what defines them and really affects both of their journeys at work and in relationship. Yeah, we really wanted to explore like what it means to have a friendship go through the important parts and where it can go down or life could go up. You know, it would be easy to just see them being, you know, great friends all the time and all is good, but we wanted to explore like how two friends go through rough times. And hopefully they come out the other side still together. Hopefully they do. We'll see how it goes. I'm confident you guys will survive, right? <laughs> well, okay, so... <laughs> no spoilers. Here. So uh, it premieres on February 14th, just in time for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, thank you guys so much. We're super excited. I can't wait. So wait, can we binge it all, or do we have, does it roll out gradually? Well, the first two episodes come out on Valentine's Day. Got it. And then one episode each week following and then Until on March 14th, March 14th they all come out so you can binge after March 14th. I'm in. Thank you guys so much for and make sure you guys check it out too. <laughs>